weekend. The Covenant Health Knoxville Marathon kicks off tomorrow with an expo and then kids run and 5K. And then, of course, the big race on Sunday. Katie Emmett is live for us once again on Market Square and explains the last minute preparations to get ready. It's a major undertaking, Katie. It really is, Beth. Yeah, marathon crews and city crews have been busy all day and for a while actually getting this race route ready. They've been clearing paths, making sure everything is in tip top shape for the big race weekend. This weekend, I want to bring in now Jason Altman with the Covenant Health Knoxville Marathon. Jason, you have been busy getting things ready and it all starts tomorrow. It does. I mean, as far as you know, the races go, but you're right. We've been working, you know, six months at a time, getting ever since the last one, getting ready for this. And today, yesterday, has just been an incredible uh, job by our volunteers, getting everything ready, picking up trucks, porta potties, set up, and everything. But tomorrow we open our health and fitness expo, sponsored by Clayton at 9 a.m. That's where folks can pick up their packets or last-minute registration, leading up to our Covenant Kids Run at 5:30 tomorrow night, and then our Covenant Health 5K, which begins at 7 o'clock, Clinch Avenue Bridge. And the big event, the full and half marathon is on Sunday. Now it's too late to sign up, but if people want to support, what should they do? Uh, you know, we're going to be going through 26.2 miles of the city of Knoxville streets, including you know, some of our great historic neighborhoods, whether that's Sequoia Hills, Island Home, Fourth and Gill, Park Ridge, Fort Sanders. You're probably watching this at home right now. We're coming through your neighborhood. So come out and spectate. You know, make sure that you're aware of road closures because if you're trying to get to church, trying to get to the grocery store on Sunday morning, uh, there's going to be a lot of streets shut down. But uh, come out and spectate. You're on the runners. They're going to need it. especially, you know, those last few miles when the pain hurts in the legs and they're really going to need some extra support. Yeah, exactly. I imagine that cheering helps the runners tremendously just power through and get through it and uh, be sure and come out and support if you are able. Jason, thank you so much for joining us uh, today and good luck this weekend. Good luck to all the runners that are going to be running in the Covenant Health Knoxville Marathon.